Hi guys! Is this thing working? Okay, I'm live. I gotta get my computer ready so I can see all of your comments, see what you guys are asking me. <clears throat> How are you this Wednesday evening? This is my first weeknight live. Uh, we're going to see how this goes. I am committed to doing this every week for you guys on Wednesday nights. Let me just give me a second for me to make sure that I can see everybody's comments and questions. When you guys hop online, make sure you say hello and tell me your, where you're from. I love to hear from you and I love to see where everybody is watching from. Okay. Oh, Robin's here. Hi, Robin. <clears throat> okay, I'm just going to open this up so I can see your comments. Um, it was actually kind of nice today here in Wisconsin. We had some really nice weather last weekend and I know last time I was stamping in my studio, there was somebody from New York on here who said she had just had a blizzard and I'm like, no, no, I don't want any of that snow crap going on around here. So I've been waiting for the warm weather and it's sort of coming. Today was kind of sunny. Um, but uh, it's works, right? <clears throat> um, okay, so make sure when you come on, you are saying where you're from and saying hello. I love to hear from you guys. I want to tell you all about my week. Um, last weekend was St. Patrick's Day, and my husband and I had a little getaway with some friends of ours, Andy and Kate. And every once in a while, we like to just kind of get away somewhere different. We really enjoy the Northwoods of Wisconsin. And so we headed up to Carter. The um, town is called Carter. And um, sometimes we like to stay at casino hotels because the hotel room is super cheap. They give you free money to play on. And there's usually a lot to do around the casinos. So we went there and I totally thought I would come back a millionaire and that I could quit my day job and stamp full time and always be with you guys, but that didn't happen. So here I am um, after work stamping with you. And um, so speaking of stamping, I actually got some really exciting news just before I came on here. I found out that I won one of the card challenges I entered um, this month. So I entered a project into the International Project Highlights Challenge uh, by Kylie Bertucci. She is a demonstrator in Australia. And um, I'm actually going to grab the card here. She has a different challenge every month on her blog, and the idea is she gives you a theme or a stamp set or some colors or something like that, and you have to make a card or a project um, about that theme that she's chosen. So last month her theme was love, and so I made, I don't know if you can see this, I made this card... It looks like a mirror image, you guys. So this is the only card I'm going to show you this way. The other ones I'll show you when I flip the card, uh, the phone around. Um, but I made that card and I just found out I came in third place. So that's pretty exciting. And all of the winners, they get to um, <clears throat> take place in a blog hop with Kylie and the other winners on April 4th. So make sure that you are subscribed to my blog to see that. You're going to get lots of inspiration from other demonstrators all around the world, which is super fun. 
and I'm going to try to wow everybody with my project. We'll see how that goes. Um, what else? Today was a super stressful day for me at work, and so I'm happy to be here uh, stamping and getting rid of some of my stress from the day. So I'm going to flip the camera around here, um, and we're going to do prizes from my last lives. So just a reminder, um... You can be entered for a prize drawing a couple of ways. So before my live, I remind everybody that my live is coming up on my Facebook page and there's a few pictures announcing the live event. If you share those photos on your Facebook wall, you are entered to win a prize. Also, if you share this video, you will be entered to win a prize. If you comment, um, hello there, hi Lisa, hi Wynn, hi Katie. Um, if you comment on <clears throat> my live, you will be entered to win a prize. And if you order, you will be entered to win a prize. Now, when you order, you're going to want to use my host code. Um, the other thing I should mention is if you have... So you need to enter my host code to be entered to win a prize. My host code this month, let me grab it here. I'm going to write it down, but it's BD7GXFTX. So when you place your order, you just enter that in. It'll enter you to win a prize. If your order is over $150, though, do not use my host code because then you will get Stampin' Rewards. Um, and everybody loves free stuff, right? So <clears throat> let's see. What else was I going to mention? There was something else. I don't remember. Um, okay, so let me flip this around so that we can get started. I gotta move a few things out of the way. I will show you what I've been stamping and then announce the winners. If you get seasick, close your eyes. Don't mind my computer here. I need to be able to see what you guys are saying. Hopefully the light is okay. Oh, yes, Robin. Thank you for the reminder. We have a card buffet on Sunday. Today is the last day to RSVP. So if you're coming, um, I'm partnering with Robin. So if you're coming, make sure you send her or me a message so that we know that you're going to be there. Okay, so I'm going to write this here. This is my website. You can shop here online. This is my host code. I'm just going to write it here so you don't forget. B D 7 G X. Okay. And you can get prizes by sharing, comment, order. Okay. Um, first of all, I want to show you some of what I stamped this week. So now that you can see it a little bit better, um, this is the card that I entered for the International Project Highlights that I got third place on. That is super exciting for me. Um, I'm kind of competitive, so I like to win stuff like that, and that was really neat. Um, okay, so I also featured this card on my blog this week. Um, this card is white on white card with a splash of color. Um, I use the wood grain textures DSP here and this is one of my favorite cards I ever made. So of course I had to show you that. Um, let's see here. Oh, this one I entered into a global design project challenge. Um, I'm really liking a lot of clean and simple cards with white space lately. Plus they go really fast. 
This one I featured on my blog the other day and I did a video for that. So actually I did videos for all of these cards except for this one. Make sure that you are subscribing to my YouTube channel because I put, and my goal is to do a video for almost every card that I put on my blog. And so you don't want to miss out. <clears throat> so make sure you're subscribing so that you get all sorts of video tutorials from me. Let's see here. What else do I have? Oh, I also was in a card swap with some fellow demonstrators and I got some gorgeous cards. So I want to show you some of the cards from our swap. So one of our swaps, we were using the petal. Let's see, what is it called? This one here, the petal palette. A bundle. This is a two um, <clears throat> stamp, two set stamp set. Lots of good stuff in there. So that's the stamps that we were using. I got this gorgeous card. This one's from Tammy. Um, this card here is from Amy. That's gorgeous. I love, I'm really liking vellum with die cut layers uh, lately, kind of tucked behind some stuff. I think that looks really elegant. Here's another one with lots of fun layers. You know, this one actually looks like it might be a fun fold. Yes, it is. That is super cool, huh? Awesome. Uh, this one was also from my friend Tammy. And this one is a fun fold as well. That one's pretty cool. Um, let's see, this one is another fun fold. I think this one is super cool. I'll have to make one of these on my next live and show you guys how we can make these cards. This beautiful card came from Patty. I don't know if you can see, but she used uh, Wink of Stella for some glitter and glitz on there. I love that. Oh, here's another fun fold from Tammy. This one is super cool. I love this middle panel. Just pops up like that. Well, I should say flips up. Oh, this one uses that basket. Um, this is by Cindy, and I love how... She colored the dyes, um, the flowers behind here, and then popped up the flowers on dimensionals, and it gives it a really great 3D effect. That is super cool. This one I actually made in a shoebox swap. Um, just spritzed some watercolor here, did some stamping in the corner. I love that color combination. Um, this one is from my friend Kathy. She does beautiful work, and um, I love these colors together. Doesn't that look awesome? And that shimmery ribbon from Celebration. This one's from my stamping friend Sarah. She used really soft colors, and I think that these are blender pens. So that looks really cool. No, oh, no, not blender pens. Stamp and Blends, the new markers. And this one is from Tammy. This is using the, um, let's see, this is the Cross, I think it's Cross of Hope bundle. Gorgeous. I love how she has the card open up and then the layers are behind it. That is super cool. I'm going to try that. So there's some inspiration for you. Now for the prizes. Okay, so... <clears throat> I actually had two lives. One was scheduled, one was a little impromptu as I was stamping. So I've got prizes for commenting. Sherry Borden won for the comments and she is getting each of these cards that I made in the live. So we've got this distressed metal. I'm gonna take this card one step further and show you the black ice technique tonight. So stay tuned, that's gonna be really cool. This gorgeous birthday card. I used Brusho for this butterfly and did a clean and simple um, all occasions card. 
uh, with the waterfront stamp set. So thanks for your comment, Sherry. These are your prizes. I will get them out to you. All right, now for sharing my video, you're also entered to win a prize. And the share uh, winner is Missy Sosa. So I've got a six by six sample pack of some DSP from last celebration for Missy. I love these colors. And for ordering, our winner is Julie Birschbach. And I've got a pack of glimmer paper for her. So thank you so much, ladies, for your comment, shares, and orders. Now, this was from the first live event that I did. I also did a live event, um, not last Saturday, but the Saturday before. And so for commenting, I'm giving away the cards that I made in that live event. We um, did some stamping in our embossing folders, and that was pretty cool. We made these two cards, this pig and these trees. And the winner of those cards is Ruth Ann Berger. So Ruth Ann, um, hi Sandy, I see you joined us. Hi Charlene. Um, Ruth Ann, I need your address. So if you want to pop me an email or send me a message on Facebook, I will get these out in the mail to you right away. What else? For sharing, Carol Yerkman uh, won for sharing my video uh, two weeks ago. So thank you so much, Carol. And she's winning a pack, a six by six pack of designer series paper. And ordering Sue Bonnet. So she is going to win this card kit. Um, this is the Pretty Pocket card kit. <clears throat> and it was from last year's celebration. So you can't get it anywhere else. And um, everything here is here that you need to make these cards. So Sue is our winner for that. Okay. What do you say we get stamping now? Okay. Easter is coming up. So. I'm going to make an Easter card. Get out all my layers here. We are going to do a super fun technique that some of you may know. We're going to do a basket weave technique. So the stamps we're using today are this adorable little bunny and the Happy Easter. The Happy Easter comes from Teeny Tiny Wishes. This one has all sorts of sentiments on it. Very versatile, great all occasion stamp set. And the bunny is coming from this stamp set in the occasions catalog called A Good Day. And this coordinates with some new punches that came out. Uh, we're gonna use the bunny today. Also going to get to use some of our blender pens and pretty glimmer paper. Now, okay, this glimmer paper comes in 12 by 12 sheets and I think it comes two, yeah, two in a package. So I just want to show you that this is what this little strip came from. Uh, a little goes a long way usually with glimmer paper. I'm not using it for a whole background uh, layers or anything like that typically. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is get my bunny ready. So I've got a scrap of Whisper White here. I'm going to stamp my bunny in Memento ink. And I'm going to color him in. We're just going to do a little bit of coloring for his ears and nose. 
And now I'm when I'm coloring him in, I'm using this fine tip uh, for the Stampin' Blend and coloring in the ribbon. So again, the only thing I colored in was I just made a light outline on his ears. And the color I used for that is Dark Pink Pirouette. And on the bow, I just came in with my Light Daffodil Delight. And I'm going to add just a little pop of Dark Daffodil Delight by the creases of the bow. Now we're going to fussy cut our bunny here. You know, I'm thinking as I cut this, I should have been prepared and had, uh, by the magic of TV, a uh, bunny ready for you. This won't take very long, though. He's pretty simple. You guys, I used to not be a fan of fussy cutting, and I gotta tell you, it's really popular. Um, as I'm watching kind of Pinterest and getting inspiration for cards and seeing what other demonstrators are doing, um, fussy cutting is, it feels like, all the rave lately here. And a lot of these stamps are not as hard to cut out as you would think. Okay, I'm just going to set my bunny aside here. All right. I've got my, this is Daffodil Delight card base. We're just going to fold that in half. Use my bone folder here to get a nice tight crease. Okay, now... When I post the replay of this on my blog, I'm going to give you a link to a sheet, a PDF sheet that is like this that looks kind of funny to you. I actually took and cut a piece of this out of here. Um, you can cut this out to make multiple cards. You can make copies of this. You're going to want to keep this template handy because we're going to need it to make our basket weave. So when you cut this out, you want to put it on the folded edge of your card. And I'm using a paper clip to secure it. Eps right along those lines. Just follow the line. So some are longer than others. And you're going to want to go the same length as the lines. Just exactly as they are on the sheet. The Paper snips are really good for this because they're so sharp on the tips and you can get perfectly right to the edge. Okay, once you're done, clear up any scraps. We can reuse this again. Um, I've actually used it for a few cards already. So I'm just going to slip my paper clips on here and <clears throat> Keep it with my other template and set it aside for now. Okay, so I've got my card base. Um, okay, my computer froze. I just need to make sure we're still going. Yep, we are. Okay, so I have my card base here. And... I cannot see anything anybody is saying, so give me a minute while I refresh this. Okay. <clears throat> we are going to start at the top here, and we're going to take 
every other tab that we cut out and we're going to fold it back and put it underneath the tab below it. So we're going to fold the first one, skip one, fold the next one, skip one, fold the next one, skip one, fold the next one, skip one, and this last one we're going to snip right at the end. Okay, now we're going to come in with our liquid glue and we're just going to put a dot on and we're going to tuck it under the pointy tip of the one before it. And we're going to do the same thing with the next one and we're going to tuck it under and secure so that it's glued. I'm going to tuck it under and secure. Tuck it under. Okay, and now up here, we've got this kind of empty area that we want to fill in. If you like it like this, you can leave it empty. Otherwise, you can come in and you can glue this onto the top. So I'm going to glue this, oops, right here to the top of the card. Okay, and then we're going to fold our card. And we have a basket weave on the edge. This is perfect for Easter. I love it. Okay, now we are going to end up with our white piece here. And I'm going to use my glimmer paper on the edge like that. So first I'm going to stamp on my card front. I'm coming with my bunny and I'll show you why we're doing it this way in a minute. Make sure we get him centered. And then underneath, come in with my Happy Easter. Now, I want my bunny popped up on dimensionals, but before I do that, I want to glue this down because sometimes I find it's hard to glue your layer down when you've got your layers already popped up. So getting a little glue on here. Get this lined up and glue it down. <clears throat> and I want a little glimmer here. I think this gold goes really well with this Daffodil Delight. Glue that down. Oh, 
All right, and now for our bunny, we're gonna pop him up, use these mini dimensionals, because he's pretty little. And I'm just going to go right over where I stamped. Now the reason I stamped him is because with that hint of the outline behind the rabbit, it really makes him look three-dimensional, even more so than just having him popped up. I really like that look. And for a finishing touch, this is another clean and simple card, you guys. Fast, easy, a lot of white space. We're not using a lot of colors and different products here. I'm going to come in and I'm going to tie my baker's twine. Right at the edge of this glimmer paper. Like so. Get my loops the size I want them. Oh my gosh, that's cute. Now, when you tie it this way, if you want to slide it up a little higher, just do that. No problem. Oh crap. I pulled on the string a little too hard. There we go. I'm going to trim this up. There we go. And my card is finished. That was pretty quick and easy. This looks really complicated, but I'm telling you, it's really not that bad. You should try it. And again, make sure you check out my blog because that's where I'm going to have this template. I'll post it as a PDF. You can click on it and print it off. I want to show you I made another card just like this yellow in uh, pink pirouette and I spritzed a little ink across it for some extra color and I think that that turned out pretty cool. I think these are perfect for Easter, light subtle colors, it looks like an Easter basket on the outside edge, just adorable. Alright, what do you think? Should we move on to the next card? Get some of my stuff out of the way here so that we have room. <clears throat> oh, if, I, if you see me over here, I'm just cleaning up my stamps. I have, I use my Stampin' Scrub by, from the catalog. It comes in just two sizes and I always have it set up right next to me, but of course you can't see on the camera what in the heck I'm doing over here, so getting these stamps cleaned, put away, and getting ready for the next card. Okay, now we're going to do black ice. Last, my last um, live, my I should say my very first live, um, I... I did a part, a portion of the black ice technique. I stopped before we did any embossing and I called it distressed metal. So as I've been kind of looking around for some inspiration, I have noticed that black ice is very, very popular. So that's what we're going to do. I'm actually going to make a couple cards using black ice. And the first one I'm going to make, we're going to use our copper foil paper. I've seen the black ice done on a lot of silver. And I wanted to show you that you can do this really on any of your foil papers. 
for this card, we're going to use the Hold On to Hope stamp set and the Cross of Hope Framelits dies. These are bundled together in the Occasions catalog right now, and you can save 10%. Now, when Occasions um, is done with, even if these carry into the new catalog, they rarely carry the bundle price over. So if this is something you're interested in, you're probably going to want to get it um, while you can still bundle it. <clears throat> so... I'm going to be using the die cut cross and so before I get too far along I'm going to die cut that right away. I'm using my magnetic platform to keep this cross in place. My big shot's to the side of me too so that I don't uh, bounce around the camera too much. Lisa's asking, do you know if you can do the black ice with stays on? You know, I think you probably should be able to because the basic black that we use, I've been told is also permanent, uh, similar to stays on, so I see no reason that you couldn't. If you try it, Lisa, uh, you should let me know how it turns out. Okay, I'm going to put this die back. Get this out of the way. All right, get my card base folded and ready here. I'm not stamping the insides of these cards tonight, guys, because I'm actually making quite a few cards with you, and I figure you guys can stamp the insides or write on them. Um, but I do love to stamp the inside of my cards. I don't want you to think, oh, Rose never stamps her cards, but I do. Um, okay, so black ice. The first thing you need is foil paper. And you're going to want to use your Archival Basic Black Stampin' Pad. If you use Memento, this isn't going to work. Now, Lisa Vandenelsen just asked if you can use Stazon, and I'm not sure. So, uh, if anyone knows, please feel free to chime in. Otherwise, Lisa, try it and let us know. I don't see why you wouldn't be able to, though. Okay. So I've got a piece of copper foil paper here, and the first thing we're going to do is slide. Hi, Sherry. Sherry, you joined us late. You didn't see that you won uh, for comments uh, on my last live, so congratulations. Okay, we're going to take our basic black, and we're just going to... Lightly scrape the pad across the paper. I'm using a scratch piece of paper here uh, so that I don't get too many fingerprints on my paper. So you can see on the edges, it kind of grabs the ink and it's pulling it and giving this paper a distressed look. Now, when you stamp, the next step you're going to do is stamp onto your, onto your foil paper. Now, when you stamp, this paper is really slippery. So you're going to want to be very careful stamping that it doesn't slide all over the place. So I'm going to come in here with my cross and stamp. Now, this is okay if it does not fill in completely. I'm okay with that because I'm going for a distressed look here. Just 
clean this off. I like to clean off my stamps right away when I'm using basic black so they don't get too stained. I don't know. It's the neat freak in me, apparently. Okay, so next, um, we're coming in with our sentiment that says, um, this is the one we're using right here. I have made you, and I will carry you, I will sustain you, and I will rescue you. And we're doing this because I think this is another great Easter card. And I'm just going to do that right next to my cross. And again, I'm being very careful to not slip the stamp and ruin my image. Okay, I'm going to set this aside. Before I go on to the next step, I'm just going to dry this ink a little bit. I'm going to be doing some embossing. We're going to be using our clear emboss powder and our Versamark pad. You can see I've done this a little bit. So the next step after this is, so we scraped across and now we stamped and this is ready to go. We are going to lightly go across this use my, with our Versamark. I very lightly did that. Okay, now let's do our embossing powder. And we're just going to Get our embossing powder on our card. I like to have, I just bought this um, little Tupperware thing here at Walmart and it works great for my embossing powders. I store them in here when I'm not using them so I just store them all in there and then it's always ready to go. All right, so we've got our clear embossing powder on our card front, and now we're going to heat set it. Now when you're heat setting, this seriously is like magic. Do you see how that's changing? Super cool. This is all set and ready to go and it looks like ice this is I just love this technique now let's finish putting our card together I'm going to adhere this to my layer now again you guys make sure that you are subscribed to my blog because I always do a replay of my Facebook live after and I'm gonna post all the dimensions for the cards there and if you want to make these cards you don't want to miss it get this good and adhered yes Charlene I'm using clear embossing powder it looks white in here but it's clear <clears throat> okay now the next thing I'm going to do here is come in with some ribbon. And I'm going to 
tie that ribbon on here. I really love adding ribbon to my cards. We're going to trim the ends. And I've got the cross from the dies that I cut out. This is up a little high, so I'm just going to slide it down. And let's see. Adhere this with mini dimensional. This cross is pretty thin, so I'm actually going to cut this mini dimensional in half. And I'm going to stick it here and on the top. Try to get this off. This is not wanting to come off, you guys. When I practiced this, it came off like nothing. So, there we go. My nieces and nephews are over and they're playing outside with my husband. So if you can hear them in the background, that's what's going on. All right, so we are going to pop that up on top of our, our cross. And then we're gonna put this on our card base. And I wanted that popped up on dimensionals. So that's what we're going to do here. All right. There we go. Another Easter card finished using black ice technique. Super simple. Not as hard as it looks, right guys? And this one, again, is using the copper foil paper. Um, I'm sure you've all seen it using the silver foil. Um, in fact, I've got one I made right here using silver foil. This one uses a little bit of a, oh, I think I tinted this one. So I'll show you that technique next. Okay, this next card I'm going to show you is Black Ice with a Twist. I think you're going to really love this. Okay, get my stuff ready. This time I'm using silver uh, foil paper and we are using a stamp set from Flourishing Phrases. Now this is another stamp set that's a two set a stamp set. Lots of great um, sentiments in there. Let's see here. We've got a lot of great sayings for the outside and inside of the card. And we've got uh, these gorgeous flowers, which I love. Two sets. So that's awesome. Okay. Now, this technique is a little different in that we are going to give a pink hue to our oh 
Oh, hi, Karen and Carrie. Thank you so much. We're going to give a pink hue to our silver foil paper. So before we go through with our um, black like we did last time, I'm using Melon Mambo. And we are just going to... tint our card. We're lightly, oh my gosh, this card keeps wanting to turn. We're lightly running our ink pad across our piece. And then I like to just kind of even it out. Okay, first step. Now, I don't want this to run too much, so I'm just going to quickly dry it. And we're going to come back in just like we did on the first card with our basic black. Again, we're using our archival pad. We are not using our memento. And we're going to go on both sides. So first we ran it along the one side. And now we're running it across the other. And what we're trying to do here is catch the ink along the edge of our paper. Now we are ready to stamp. I always like to make sure my stamp is good and ink. And again, we're being very careful because this paper is slippery and it will slide. That's so pretty. That's like my favorite stamp, I think. All right, and I am going to come in with Marriage is a Journey. Stamp this on here. Again, we're being careful so that it doesn't slip. And I'm okay if this um, bleeds a little bit. So we're going to come in with our Versamark and just very lightly go over our paper. We want our embossing powder. Again, we're using clear embossing powder. Spilled a little bit here. And we're going to embossed this. Setting it with our heat tool, I'm using this on the highest setting. And like magic, it's making it look like ice. Now you notice that as I am embossing this, um, the card wants to bend and 
uh, fold a little bit. It looks like we didn't quite get this done up here. And that's okay because we all know I love using liquid glue. And liquid glue makes it pretty easy uh, to get these flat when you glue them down. All right, I'm gluing it on my black layer. Oh, that looks so pretty. Actually, this is the first time I'm seeing Melon Mambo. I'm gonna show you the color combinations I used. Um, but this is the first time I'm actually seeing it complete. That looks awesome. I really love how that turned out. And I'm gonna pop this layer up. Oh my gosh, that looks so pretty. Isn't it gorgeous? I love it. Okay, now the inside, I'm just going to stamp the next part of the sentiment. Here. So. Marriage is a journey. Good thing you get to bring your best friend along. I think that's really sweet. Oh, you know what, guys? I was going to wrap this around it, I think, but I'm just going to leave it. No big deal. Okay, so I actually did some other cards and other tinted colors, which I'm going to show you in a minute. But I have one more black ice to show you. Okay. All of the black ice techniques that I have seen online are using silver or copper foil paper. And I had not seen one yet with the champagne foil paper. So... I was curious if that would work out, and so we're gonna try it and see how it looks. Thank you, Charlene, I love those colors together. Okay, so let me find my scrap piece of paper here. Again, just like the others, we're going to first come in with our basic black. distress this layer next we're gonna stamp I'm using petal palette for this one so oh I love this bird I, I think it looks like a little chickadee to me I can see a nice Christmas card with this bird um, we're using the roses and I think we're using, we're using some things are just meant to be together. Wait, some things are just meant to be like the two of you together. That's what we're using for our sentiment. Okay, get this inked up. going to again being super careful because I don't want that to slip and slide everywhere cute and we're done with our 
here. So next we're going to come in with our Versamark. Very lightly. We're going to emboss. You know, this embossing parter a uh, little goes a long way, too, because I have made so many of these cards, and it doesn't even look like I made a dent in my powder. Just want to make sure I get this on the edges good. Okay, we're going to heat set it now. I love watching embossing powder set. So again, here's a close-up. This is our champagne foil paper. I haven't seen anybody use this color yet. And I'm going to mount it on a piece of black again. Of course, you can use whatever colors you want. I just keep using black because I think it really brings out the black smudges on our card front. Get this centered. Now this champagne is really a subtle pink color. Well, just like champagne is. So I'm going to use a powder pink card base. And I think I want some ribbon here too, since we're doing this as a, while well, I'm doing it as a wedding card. All right, so I'm just going to tie my ribbon. And a knot. Like so. We're going to trim these ends off at an angle. And I want to pop this up on dimensionals. Oh, before I do this, I'm going to stamp a little bit here on our card. I'm using powder pink and I just want a little coming out from the corners of the card base. OK. 
Okay, let's get this mounted. And then I'm gonna show you all of my black ice cards and you can see the different uh, color combinations. I love this card. I think this one's my favorite. Which one do you guys like? Which is your favorite? Let me know. I love this one. So, in case you were wondering, the champagne foil uh, paper works great for the black ice technique. Let me move some of my stuff out of the way so I can show you... The other color combinations that we did here. So we've got the copper that we did first for our Easter card. We've got our champagne foil paper here with powder pink and that looks awesome together. Same basic layout here. We've got our Melon Mambo Twist that we put on this layer, which I think looks awesome. Now, I also use the same technique with Tempting Turquoise. That adds just a hint of blue. I'll call this one Blue Ice, right? So we've got Pink Ice and Blue Ice. And I did the same thing like I did here, just did a little stamping in the corner. That one I think turned out really sharp. And I also did, uh, this one is, let me check, Sweet Sugar Plum. So this is one of our in colors that is retiring. And that one I did the same. These two I did the same as the Melon Mambo, only I used Tempting Turquoise, and this one was Sweet Sugar Plum. Now, remember, we also made our basket weave cards. We made our cute Easter bunny, and I also had a pink one to show you that as well. So... That's all our projects for tonight. Woo, we made it. I went a little over an hour. I tried to keep it to an hour, but I went a little long. Um, that's okay. Hopefully you didn't mind too much. Now remember, you can be entered to win the cards that I made on my live tonight just by sharing, commenting, and placing an order using my host code. Remember, skip the code if your order is over $150. Now I'm going to post this on my YouTube channel and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you get all my videos. Um, thanks again for stopping by tonight. I'm glad you could join me in my stamping studio. I hope you have a great rest of your night and a great week. I will see you right here next week, Wednesday at 7 o'clock Central Time with some new projects. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Thank you so much for joining, everybody. Have a really great night.